If you would please bring us in prayer and prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together to convene for another meeting to discuss the important business of the Moore County Public School System. We pray for our commissioners who are not here tonight, but those who are present. But we also pray for the whole system that we will continue to work together to make everything on one accord. We pray for our teachers, we pray for our students, and most importantly, we pray for our parents. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Do I hear a motion for the approval of the minutes? Second. All right, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, motion carries. Is there a motion for agenda adoption? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second for our agenda adoption. All in favor say aye. 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 Ms. Peek, any announcements before we start? Uh, one announcement, uh, if you did not get Sunday uh, press register yesterday, there was an excellent insert in there that gave a great uh, opening overview of the school system. I want to compliment uh, Mrs. Phillips and her staff for an excellent job. It really gave a full picture of the Mobile County Public School System and all of our rich diversity that we have as well as what's being accomplished in our schools. And it was really neat in that it, a lot of it was told from the voice of our students. So I thought it was an excellent, excellent section. Yeah, I saw it, Ms. Phillips. Uh, your staff did a really good job with that. Uh, Mr. Battles, any announcements from you, sir? No, just thank God for waking up today. Okay. And uh, we just pray for everybody for a great year. But more importantly, though, is that um, we pray for our commissioners who's absent tonight for whatever reason they are. But the most important thing that we could do is to make sure that we move toward having a good quality of school system. This week I attended over to our mains and ways some preparatory school. There are some difficulty and some problems that exist. There are some scheduling problems. There are some problems with uh, uh, the sport team and all of those, so we hope that we could get together and get a report from the superintendent so that we can make sure that we line out whatever deficiencies there are. Thank you. Dr. Foster? Yes, I think there was one thing that we needed to do, too. We needed to um, approve the minutes of the special call board meeting that, um, is that what uh, we did earlier or were we approving the minutes on the agenda? Or did we approve these? Did we announce when they were and so forth? Uh, my understanding is we were approving the past minutes. Okay, that's is fine. That, I just wanted to be sorry. sure we did that. That's okay. fine. Okay, any other announcements from you, Dr. No. Mm. Okay, um, no reports and recognitions this evening, but they will be forthcoming, I know. We'll now go on to citizens' request and let me say this before we get started. Delegates who have signed up will have five minutes to make their presentations. The good name and or character of an individual may not be discussed in an open board meeting. Uh, and you will have five minutes to make your presentation in this peak. Our superintendent will keep the time for it. First person I have here is Ms. Rachel Dumas. Ms. Dumas? Could we, Tommy, or also put that up there, please? Ms. Dumas? Uh, good evening, afternoon. Um, the reason for my presence here is that um, I resigned uh, due to health issues and other personal personal problem issues in 2014. Uh, I found out when I reapplied back in, I think, like uh, the next following year, that uh, some very disturbing information in my file. And I'm here before the board to plead that this information is looked into and find out the significance of why it was placed into my file. 
uh, I had a good work record. I, I have not done anything that, um, that, it, that should demonstrate this character that has been left on my record which states that I am not to work with the Mobile County Public School System in any capacity uh, because uh, not as a sub or as a teacher because of the information that was placed in my file. I have no idea what this information is. Um, the paper that I did get from my file had this on it. There was a, a document attached to it. However, the document was removed. I'm asking the board to look into this for me, please. I wrote a letter uh, when I did resign, and I have a copy of that letter, so I'm not sure how they went about presenting the information to the board, and did the board make this decision for me not to be put on a do not hire, do not sub module. So I'm requesting that the board would please look into this. I got a letter from Mr. Hack about a week ago saying that I was not eligible to apply for any position with the Mobile County Public School System. I have, like I said, I have a very good outstanding work record. I have not done anything, and I, re I really would like for this information to be found out, looked into, and please let me know what I have done. It's very important to me. Speak, I guess you will look into that. Okay, very good. What's the procedure on that? Thank you, ma'am. What can we do? What we'll do, what I'll ask is I'll go back with HR, right. with, work with Mr. Hack, That's and fine. get a report. Could you give a report to us too? So I, I appreciate that. Sure. Thank you. All right, our next speaker is Mr. Peter Cuffer. Thank you, President. Uh, again, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Peter Cuffer, AEA Uniserve Director down here in Mobile. Just want to bring to your attention the year has, from what I've seen in a lot of the schools going up uh, to some elementary schools, specifically Cal Cedeaver, uh, down here in Mobile, Dixon Elementary. We've seen a lot of uh, really, really nice things happening. We'd like to see uh, continu continuance of those things. I know that the start of school can sometimes be a, a trifling kind of a rough time, but it seems to me that some of the schools have started, at least the ones I've visited, on the right foot. Uh, we want to bring your attention also um, to an issue that's been ongoing within the Transportation Department. I did receive a letter in response to a letter I'd written the superintendent, and I do thank you for that, Mrs. Peak. Uh, we'll be going back and forth, I presume, at this point. But I will say that uh, the intention of my letter was to get an investigation started into some of the shortcomings within the transportation department. Mrs. Peak did take it upon herself to attend a mechanics meeting as well as foreman meeting and hold individual meetings with the supervisory and administrative staff within the transportation department. So. Again, I thank you for that. Uh, that was uh, very nice to see, and I got a lot of positive feedback from that. So thank you for investigating that. Additionally, uh, we want to bring some concerns that, that have come to us with the start of school as it pertains to uh, maybe a paperwork committee. We know that teachers are curious to know how the Every Student Succeeds Act is going to be rolled out, what intentions the district is uh, moving forward with in terms of paperwork, what's going to be required, what's going to be mandatory, and so we will be communicating on those ends uh, as, as weeks unfold. So again, we want to recap uh, that we are investigating also those issues in transportation, but we want to look forward to the new school year and just say thank you for getting a head start this year. Thank you. All right, our next uh, speaker will be Ms. Kim Sweet. Ms. Sweet. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for allowing me to speak this evening. Uh, I am Kim Sweet, and I'm going to pass these out to you guys real quick because I'm going to brief over what I have written down so that I don't take up all y'all's time. Okay, I appreciate it. I am Kim Sweet, a parent of two children in the public education system here in Mobile County. I also represent my company for the Partner in Education program, as well as the, uh, a huge supporter of the community of arts. My purpose for visiting today is to secure the best possible educational environment for the Old Shell Road Magnet School for the Creative and Performing Arts by seeking immediate relief from avoidable leadership issues unrelated to the school community at large that have damaged critical community involvement and financial support causing undue hardships to the parents and the teacher of the community. I've listed several facts, but I'm going to abridge this. 
basically the community at large was not made aware of the dissolution of the PTO, which I have now just been made aware that there's a, a large, a big breakthrough with that. And we're hoping to see immediate solutions in place by the end of next week. Um, but I would like to say that the handling of this was an utter leadership failure at the administration level within our school. And, um, and the reason why I say that is because I've also met with this administration repeatedly to offer my help as well as the community at large that I am very successful at engaging with. Um, part of it was the communication which was, which was non-existent and, and I have here the only communication in writing that has been given us about this entire thing, which I would love for you guys to look at. The other thing was um, no secession plan was allowed for the continuity of donated resources that were gained for the explicit use and benefit of the school. Um, also no interim plan to allow for alternative resources such as the partners in education uh, to replace those that were lost to alleviate these undue burdens placed upon the teachers and parents of the school community and um, by order that was initiated through the, the county's actions. Now. I'm going to close it today because I want to bring, I believe strongly that leadership is influence and in this art school I believe we have endured detrimental influence recently um, by the school appointed leader negatively impacting our children, our teachers in the environment and the community at large. Um, the governing principles set forth by this school board is the foundation on which all leadership roles should embody for the Mobile Public Schools community. The foundation is the structural support on which all other edifices are built. So these guidelines are needed in order to provide a strong and cohesive organization. The public's faith and trust that these guiding principles have been followed is lost. And with respect to all the facts given to you today, I ask for this board to provide immediate relief, which I've just discovered is in the works, so I do appreciate that, um, for the community that's been negatively impacted by these actions. Old Shell Road is a blue ribbon school. We have a long-standing commitment to partnerships with the parents, the teachers, the administration, the businesses, and the arts community. And it is critical that we maintain these strong relationships so that we may be proud of our Blue Ribbon School because we all are proud of our Blue Ribbon School. And that is why I'm here today on behalf of many, many parents and teachers who are deeply concerned about some issues that I brought to light and that I'm sure uh, Mrs. Peake and some of you are now also aware. So. I will continue to positively support the art school uh, community of Old Shell Road in any way I can. And I have here a brick to help rebuild the injured foundation so that all children may reap the benefits and grow to be productive democratic uh, citizens. We seek solutions that will clearly impact the community at large for today and the future. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sweet. Okay, that completes uh, all of our citizens' requests. Ms. Peek, at this time, we'll go ahead and move on to the action items. I'd uh, like for you to uh, I note that I'm going to ask that uh, the uh, G13 be pulled. That's the contract uh, with Ford's Multiplier Solutions. That's for bus arm cameras. We've got some more details that need to be worked out on that contract. That's G13. And also to pull G22, the contract with the Learning Tree Incorporated. Uh, we still have uh, some details about the number of students that need to be completed on those two. So we're full asking that you pull those two. Okay. Action item G1, uh, we'd ask that you approve uh, the extending the 4% salary increase to all employees the state. Uh, approve that in certain categories, but not all categories. I've had requests from board to extend it to all employees, so we'd ask that you approve that. Mr. Chairman. Sir. In view of the fact that uh, these items have been discussed and pointed out and have been provided to board members for over a week now and at the board work session, there were no questions, at least for items 1 through 12, and that's how far I've read thus far. Uh, I would ask that we approve items 1 through 12. So move. Okay. A second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to approve action items G1 through 12. 
Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. All right, Ms. Peek, we'll go to 14. Uh, action item G14 is a contract with Franklin Primary Health Centers Incorporated to provide dental screening and treatment for uh, the pre-K students in our system. Um, that's through uh, the Franklin Healthcare Centers, also the Franklin Dental Express for $17,748 out of Title I funds. That covers 58 classrooms with 18 students in each classroom. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Sir. I move approval of uh, 14 through uh, 18. Excluding 13. Uh, excluding number 19, of course. Okay, four, and 14 through 18. Correct. Dr. Foster. Mm -hmm. Okay. We hear a second. Second. Okay, we have a second. A motion and a second to approve action items G14 through 18, excluding 13, which has been right. pulled. 13. Yes. Any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Motion carries. Number 19, Ms. Pete. Mr. Chairman. Sir. Uh, in view of the fact that uh, particularly that we've, we've worked with, closely with, had a good relationship with the Hunter Black Men of Great Mobile in programs over the years, I would approve, uh, ask that we approve 19 uh, with the exclusion of 22, but 19 uh, through 32. Okay, we have a motion to approve action item G19 through 32, excluding 22. Do yeah, I that was second? pulled, I believe, when yes, 22. Right. Sir? 22 was pulled. Yeah, right? I said okay. excluding 22, which was pulled. Uh, do I hear a second? I have a qualification on number on item <coughs> 19 and, 19 and 20. I'm going to abstain from voting, and on the rest of them I approve. Okay. Okay. Let me. Um, well. Okay. The uh, we'll need to note uh, that. Go ahead. Let me go. I know what okay. you're about to say. Okay. Uh, Ms. Peek, we may have to pull those two because it, it takes a uh, majority vote in order to do that. You understand, Ms. It, I, I, I yeah. Appreciate it's, it and bring it back yeah. on the other like that. So can I have another motion here, Doctor? Okay. Uh, the uh, motion then would be. <clears throat> Items uh, 21, yes, okay, excluding 22 mm -hmm. on through 32. So 21 through 32, excluding 22. Okay. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second to approve action items G21 through 32, excluding 22, which has been pulled. Any further discussion? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Ms. Peek, consent agenda. Uh, we present uh, consent agenda of uh, the various bids as listed. Do I hear a motion? Move approval of various bids. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve various bids. Any discussion? I will say, Ms. Peek, I do appreciate the hard copies. Um, I was able to read it a lot better, and I won't be cross-eyed looking at it like that. All right, any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. H2, Ms. Peek. Uh, H2 is present to you out of county travel as listed and asked for your approval. So move. We have a motion. Do I hear a second? 
And Mr. Chairman, second, uh, with this, uh, that for discussion. Sir. Okay. All right, we have a motion and a second to approve uh, consent agenda H2. Is there any discussion? Yes, I, I, uh, I s immediately I saw that 8, 9, and 12 were, were okay in terms of the, the travel the way I understand it now, and I can support those, uh, but I need to perhaps talk with um, uh, Ms. Uh, Simpson maybe tomorrow uh, about the other uh, travel so I, I move approval for art never mind I, I would support 8 9 and 12 okay um, you have questions about 8 9 and 12 is that correct no, no, no. Oh, you support, oh, that. You support those? Yeah, I can support those right away. And I have questions about the others I need to talk with Ms. Simpson about. Ms. Peek, uh, can we uh, hold those others off and just go ahead and approve these, the Dr. Foster? Would you just hold them off? Yeah, let's, would that be all right with you, Dr. Foster? That's fine. That's can fine. We just hold them off That's fine. Week, and we'll go ahead and pull that because we have some further dis questions. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's. That sounds good. Since we're, we're meeting next week um, for the board meeting, we can do it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. Oh, we got student expulsions. I do so. Okay, just a second. Let me get back to my screen. Uh, and, and I I would present student expulsions one through seven and ask that you approve those. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second to approve. Student expulsions, uh, I one through seven. Any discussion? I will say again, as I've done at many numerous board meetings, I'm disappointed that we made multiple opportunities to meet with parents to discuss these. Appreciate Mr. Mixon's department trying to do that, and it just it hurts me to see that we don't have parents that will for serious offenses, Mr. Mixon and Ms. Pete. So uh, I understand that. Any further discussion about these items? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Ms. Peek, information. Uh, information item J1, we present the monthly financial statements in J2, purchase order of $5,000 over for your reference. Okay. Um, any item discussion? Any old business? Any board superintendent request? The only request that I have is that the superintendent will provide for us an update on the transition at the Williamson and our main preparatory school so that we can assess where we are now and what, if there are any tweaking we need to do or whatever the case is. But more importantly, it would be some type of report that we could put part of the record and uh, reflect to those parents as we continue to move along. If I might add, Mr. Uh, Mr. Battles, <coughs> If it would be fair, give Ms. Peek an opportunity this week to look at it, then we can, she can share that with the whole board. I have no problem with that. Would that have be time enough, Ms. Peek? Yes, yes, no problem. Okay. I have no difficulty with that at all. Right, sure. all right. Dr. Foster, any requests on your part? No. Okay. Uh, any pending matters? All right, attorney, client, privilege. I sent an email to the board on uh, Monday, August 15th, regarding a matter for the board consideration. Okay. Uh, do I hear any? Uh, I would hear? move approval of the attorney's uh, email that he sent us. The um, uh, what's contained in the email, his recommendation, and so forth. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the attorney's recommendation in this particular case. Any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Scheduling of meetings, Ms. Peek. Um, the, um, we don't have any requests for meetings, but I would remind you that on Thursday night at 6 p.m. at Davidson High School, there's the Essex Community Tour. Um, there, uh, Mr. Cufford was mentioning that earlier. Um, the state is just in the initial stages of defining what ESSA will look like in the state of Alabama, so we're not at the system level yet with making decisions, but there will be um, a meeting. It's for a citizen and employee, teacher, principal input, and uh, as I said, that's 6 p.m. at Davidson High School on Thursday night in the auditorium.
Ms. Peak, will, uh, there, will that be somebody from the State Department there? State Department, yes, and also uh, the uh, chair of the committee, um, Dr. Je uh, Ms. Jenna Ross, will be there also. She's chairing that committee. She's the Secretary of Early Childhood Education, and the governor has been cha chairing that committee, as well as State Department members. Uh, also, I would remind you that there is a, the first budget hearing is at 4 p.m. on Thursday here in the boardroom. It'll be an afternoon of meeting. And then on uh, Wednesday, August 31st, will be the second budget hearing here in the boardroom. And then, of course, the board retreats. It'll be Monday and Tuesday at the Environmental Center beginning at 8.30 each morning. And Mr. Hack, we're going to, uh, I guess you'll get out some information about the continuance. So we won't, we won't be doing it this morning. So then, okay. Yes, sir. All right, good. Um, any other meetings that we can think of? Sounds like we've got a lot coming up here. Okay, um, do I hear a motion for adjournment? So moved. A mo motion, a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Oh, we're adjourned. Thank you. The class of 2015 earned over $97 million in scholarships, and the class of 2016 is already on its way. Graduating students who are college and career ready. It starts with us. Hi, I'm Mary Burnett, and this is 11 Questions with the Teacher. What is the best part of your job? The best part of my job is definitely interacting with the students. I'm also a coach, so I get to interact with um, young ladies. <laughs> what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Pink, it's my new obsession. <laughs> what is my favorite movie of all time? My favorite movies would have to be the Harry Potter series. <laughs> Mountains or the beach? Totally the beach. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? I really enjoy Coke, but if I need a few extra bubbles, I go with Pepsi. <laughs> what do you do on a rainy day? Um, probably watch movies and play with my puppy dog Why all day. When something happens, it is always you three. Believe me, Professor, I've been asking myself the same question for six years. <laughs> Alabama or Auburn? Definitely roll tide. Roll tide roll. <laughs> Walmart or Target? I'm definitely a Target shopper. <laughs> if you could have lunch with anyone in history, who would it be and where would you eat? With anyone in history, I'd probably say Anne Frank. I would have lunch with Anne Frank and I would take her to Montego's. <laughs> what was the first concert you ever attended? My first concert I ever attended Probably wasn't my first, but the one I can remember right now. I went to the Jonas Brothers concert with all of my sisters. <laughs> Why did you become a teacher? Because I love making um, young people proud of themselves by doing the little things, by turning in homework, by acing a test. And the accomplishment that they feel, I feel the same thing. <laughs> this has been 11 Questions with Mary Burnett, a teacher. <laughs>